Uh, I have long division. Uh, family. Love. COVID 19. I don't like it because I didn't get to see my friends and I couldn't go to school. But I kind of liked it because I could watch all day. So, um, it was rough. We had some obstacles to overcome individually and as our family and other people as well, such as our relatives. Um, it was hard educationally because we have to learn from a distance and sometimes those are uh, some, what do you call this, uh, obstacles as well, such as um, being on the device, it's very different. 2020 was different um, well, uh, when we were living. You know, um, we used to, to go to school um, in person, now it's on a device. Also for my extracurricular activities, uh, my sport, diving, um, we also used to do person to person. Now we have to wear masks, which is another thing as well, and also social distancing to practice. So while I describe the year 2020 is very different. <laughs> I know a lot of people were thinking like uh, year 2020 uh, gave us a lot of challenges and also uh, tests and a lot of people were kind of like almost giving up. So one of the uh, things that I uh, noticed and learned from uh, year 2020 to protect myself and also my family to the best as I can. Even though there's a lot of uh, negative things happen, but I still try to uh, look uh, positive. Um, how amazing would it be if we I could have a stay home because of it? Guys. And so I can't meet my, my friends Jim anymore. Browning, you know, Just stay home because of COVID-19. Yeah. Don't, don't create unwanted viruses. Like what? Coronavirus. I learned to be patient. I learned to be patient with the people because sometimes I have questions to ask and um, for distant learning uh, our teachers may not able to see our uh, questions or um, when we email it or ask it in the chat and also to overcome some obstacles in 2020 because social distancing and also uh, to follow strict uh, rules, um, uh, fundamentals to help ensure safety from COVID and I also learned to stay safe because if I got COVID that would change my life negatively and I wouldn't be able to do the things that I love to do or um, would do normally. Okay, because of the pandemic, then a lot of people are suffering limited resources. At first, uh, when the COVID-19 uh, uh, hit us on uh, March, I was thinking like, really, is this gonna be, uh, you know, stay forever or maybe for a few, I mean, a few months, but, you know, I'm so thankful that even though we already almost reached the first uh, year, of uh, the pandemic, still we're be able to uh, to work, and at the same time we're able to do the things that we usually do, but in moderation, with limitations. For example, we cannot go out most of the time outside without uh, wearing mask. And like before, if you just want to go outside, all you have to do is uh, you know be free, whatever you want to do. But now. Every time you go out, you have to practice uh, social distancing and also you have to wear masks. And also, uh, you have to uh, be cautious about the people that you're uh, uh, meeting. You cannot just be close uh, contact. Uh, let's say if it is your friend, you don't have to hug or you don't have to shake hands or just wave or just do the gestures. I think those look uh, positive on our outlook in life. And I think that's the most powerful thing that we can do than uh, looking at the, uh, the darker side of uh, this pandemic. To work hard. 
They beat COVID-19 to stop. To meet my friends. Um, I want to look forward um, in having like the vaccines and like no coronavirus anymore. And like the coronavirus cases go down because I kind of want to go out more and not wear a mask. Hopefully that people will actually learn to stay inside and follow, follow safety regulations under COVID that um, maybe the, uh, the mayor or health uh, advisors put into, uh, put into society and hopefully the COVID cases will drop down it's not to let your guard down. Even if it's a new year, we always have to stay safe for COVID and by doing that, that might help get rid of that. And also to also be, to also have motivation for this year to help get through it. And I know it's been tough. So we have to always find an inspiration so that we could get through this year and hopefully next year. And it will be a positive uh, year to go through. So for 2021, hopefully we'll get Ano, uh, vaccine maging okay siya people can be back to normal life and just keep on praying and have faith yun lang walang makakatulong sa lahat kundi ang pagdadasal at paniniwala sa Diyos yeah and just ano Yung enjoy every day with your family kasi yun yung importante and don't forget to pray yun lang naman sa amin sa akin na nasa mga bata just keep on praying na uh, healthy and safe then um, ano just enjoy kasi hindi na babalik yung kahapon the only thing that I'm looking forward to is hopefully this COVID-19 be gone completely and since the vaccine is already out there but you know still I have the 5% uh, doubt that it will be gone but that's only my hope but in any case regardless whether this pandemic will be uh, uh, gone in the next few months or in the next year I'm still looking forward that uh, we'll, we'll be stay healthy and uh, physically fit and safe from any illness or sickness or any kind of accident. And I'm also looking forward for year 2021 to be a brighter one and more positive one compared to year 2020. So I think that's the only thing I can uh, uh, say, but the message that I can uh, give to all the people out there for uh, year 2021 is to stay positive, healthy, and always take care of your family and loved ones. And above all, always uh, keep praying no matter what happened to us. Always uh, uh, put God as the center of our lives and always uh, keep praying because in, in praying, nothing is impossible. So again, Happy New Year to everyone and may God bless us all to stay healthy, fit, and always loving our family. Okay, thank you and Happy New Year once again. Bye.